What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now, if you somehow missed the huge breaking news yesterday and reported by Deadline, Julia Garner is going to play Shala Ball, who is the love interest to Norn Rad Silver Surfer and actually becomes a Silver Surfer herself. Now, because of how the headlines were spun yesterday, that made a ton of people enraged flocking to the comments before they even watched my video or learned about who this character was, assuming that Marvel was replacing the character altogether with a female variant. You can rest assured her character is integral to not only Silver Surfer, but why he sacrificed himself to Galactus in the first place. But in the wake of this enormous revelation, we have a ton, and I mean a ton, of Fantastic Four news to go over today. Everything from official reveals for Four Four Day from Marvel, stuff going on with their website, specific comics they're telling us to read, and a first look at the Human Torch, to a ton of industry insider updates about what's going on with the team and the plot, and even officially that the villain will be Galactus. We're breaking down all the news in the last 24 hours, the official stuff from Marvel, the not so official stuff from industry insiders, and what to expect from plot points in the upcoming Fantastic Four. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner to coincide with the release of X-Men 97's finale next month. Again, all you got to do be a sub, leave a comment if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so we'll start with the official stuff where Marvel Studios posted to most of their social media accounts a happy 4-4 day because it's the 4th of April and gave us an official first look promo art at the Human Torch Joseph Quinn all lit up drawing a four in the sky. But an even bigger reveal came over on Marvel's official website, marvel.com forward slash FF, the landing page for the Future Foundation, where they teased some really enormous plot points, pun totally intended, for the upcoming film. On that landing page, it says, delegates, we're glad you could join us. To prepare for the upcoming meeting, they mean the Fantastic Four movie, you've been granted access to read these issues on Marvel Unlimited. Now, the first one is obviously Fantastic Four number one, but Fantastic Four 48, 49 and 50, which are the next three comics, include the first appearance of Silver Surfer and Galactus in number 48, and then a continuation of that storyline through those next two comics. A huge, huge tease for the upcoming film, and right in line with the official news that we got yesterday. Now, the other inclusion was really interesting. That's the Fantastic Four life story from just a couple of years ago in 2021, and it's the same life story series they did with Spider-Man, where they take the Fantastic Four and then try to set them in actual real-time and real-life events with what happened happened, which again is going to be super interesting if this is set in an alternate universe because they can play with any of these events in any way they want, not be beholden to the actual history of the 616. Now, speaking of which, we got a ton of other updates coming from industry insiders as far as plot points for this film. We're going to go through them and starting with the one that dropped the earliest, almost simultaneously with the news about Silver Surfer yesterday from none other than trusted industry insider Daniel RPK, who updated that Franklin and Valeria Richards, the children of Mr. and Mrs. Fantastic, will be reportedly in the film, and that not only that, when we finally catch up with them in the first movie, that the team is already established and that they are big celebrities in their universe, which I have presumed now will be Earth X 9997, but could be another distinction in the cinematic universe. Now, the next huge update is coming regarding Galactus and actually an update as far as the casting and his role in the film. This came from Justin Kroll tweeting this out. He's a writer at Deadline, the author of a lot of the articles that we actually cover breaking some of this news. He had to say this quote, seemed obvious given Silver Surfer's involvement, but yes, Galactus expected to be the main villain and that role is currently open with no one in talks or holding the offer for the role. Which is interesting because we've actually heard two names, Javier Bardem and the other was Antonio Banderas tied to these roles or at least in talks before, but apparently those never came to fruition and now the role is still open and they've still got plenty of time to cast it because according to the reports yesterday and again from Deadline, they're not going to start filming until this summer. We expect it to be late summer, somewhere in July or the beginning of August. Now, uh, one thing I will say, uh, just because I never really address this at the channel, but I know that there's a lot of people at different points in their fandom who maybe weren't around for a lot of that early Fantastic Four stuff. And let's face it, some of those comics are extremely expensive at this point. Marvel Unlimited is cool. That's a digital viewing format, but I actually like textile comics. And what I would say to some of you is that if you are trying to read some of the previous runs 
of comics. Even something as recent as the 2015 Jonathan Hickman run, or you do want to go back and read these old Fantastic Four comics compiled all in one place, Omnibus is a great way to do that. Those are the big hardback versions that will just collect all the stories for you. That way you don't have to source the comics and I'm not a huge fan of reading comics digitally. I will, I just prefer to grab an Omnibus and have all the issues in one place uh, to get through a story and I just recently got the Jonathan Hickman run so that's my suggestion to a lot of you who do want to double back to read some of this stuff um, before we get deeper into the multiverse saga. Uh, grabbing an Omnibus for whatever story you're trying to read is probably the best way of doing it. Just my suggestion. Okay, quickly, let me know all your your thoughts down below as far as these plot points let's get into the giveaway stuff before i let you go okay we're still giving away playstation 5s here at the channel and we're going to continue to do so until the playstation 5 pro comes out and then we'll switch over in the meantime we just announced a brand new winner for the launch of x-men 97 in fact he just dm'd me on instagram showed me a picture he just got it this past weekend we'll have another winner next month to coincide with the finale of x-men 97 if you want to be entered to win or for any of the other future giveaways here at the channel all the same rules will always apply hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber then leave a comment down below and because it's truly random the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced live in the end of the video with my voice in the winning comment shown on screen. If you liked today's video, I'd sincerely appreciate it if you hit the like button. And the best way to keep up with the content here at the channel is to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. Please stay safe and vigilant on any YouTube channel where prizes are given away regularly. Years ago, we dealt with a problem that apparently is still rampant on the platform as they've been targeting my friends' channels. That is to say, if you're anywhere, Instagram, YouTube, any platform, and you should get a comment, please try to remember that anybody can take a content creator's photo, claim to be that content creator, and the whole room is to comment that you've won something and then get you to respond. Never share your information on a third party app like Telegram or WhatsApp. And please try to remember that no content creator, not myself or anyone else, will ever charge you for the shipping if you win a prize for that channel. That's a dead giveaway that it's a scam. Be safe, be vigilant, and if you should get a comment like that, again on any platform, report the comment directly to the platform. YouTube is super fast about deleting those comments and you're really doing everybody at the community a service, not just helping out the content creator, but but everywhere that account has commented now disappears. So just think of how many people you're saving going through the same mess. The best way to keep up with the content at the channel has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. Find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at Amfires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music with the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.